So the new Swatch collaboration was reviewed and this time the victim of such collab is the luxury brand from Swatch Group portfolio, Blancpain. And we were the first ones to say since 1735 there has never been a Blancpain in quotes and there will never be one. I'm calling it Blanc Swatch or Swatchpain. And another catchy name could be Swatch Paint. So why I think this watch is an awful watch? This watch called the Bioceramics Cuba 50 Fathoms collection. The 50 Fathoms is a blunt part diver model. In fact, it was one of the first modern dive watches. The design revealed is not so bad. The watches have a look and design of the Blanpa Diver models. I even like two of the Swatch Pain models, the Atlantic Ocean and the Antarctic one. But here's why I think this is a very bad watch. First, the price is steeper from the Moon Swatch. The set price is 400 US dollars or 500 Canadian dollars for my fellow Canadian viewers. And at the first glance, it looks like you're getting more for your money. But is it? You're getting something that pretended to be a diver watch with the actual diver bezel. But let's call it the sports watch with a good water resistance. The water resistance is 91 meters, which is, should be more than enough to swim with the watch. Another thing is the automatic movement instead of the quartz one. But here's the problem with this movement. The System 51 is a cheap automatic movement that is generally not meant to be serviced. And it seems to be the case with the Blunt Swatch models. Looks like the movement is sealed in the watch and can't be serviced. So in the long term the watch is essentially a disposable item. Under the warranty they probably just will replace the bad watch with the new one. After the warranty you just will throw the watch out. So much for sustainability. It's like someone in the watch marketing is trolling people or making jokes. They created disposable plastic watches with the ocean teams in mind. Especially with the pompous wording on the back of the watches. Passion for diving, license to explore, ocean breath, protect what you love, immerse yourself. It's like, are you kidding me? Protect what you love with the disposable plastic watch, knowing the damage the plastic does to the oceans. The glass is not sapphire, it's made out of biosourced materials, treated with the anti-scratch coating. So I assume it would be a plastic glass that eventually will be scratchable. The case size is 40.3 mm, the case thickness is 14.4 mm, which is pretty thick, and the NATO styled straps will make them even thicker. The NATO strap is made of recycled fishing nets that were removed from the sea, another marketing joke. The lock to lock distance is 48 mm. All the models are with the blight markers and numerals. Loom is on hands, markers, numerals and bezels, which is nice. I suspect there will be some quality issues like we saw on the moon swatches. The push has just fallen off. That is not cool. Oh, I am not gonna find that. Oh no, I did find it. I mean two of the mission to Jupiter I had were with imperfections. Maybe the quality control with the blunt swatch is better, but I would think it is not at least not in the first batches. It could be a good and fun collaboration, but with unserviceable movement, this is a disposable garbage. Let me know who is planning to get a blunt swatch. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.